Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Casual706 here, back with another Transformers unboxing slash review. Today I'm covering Transformers, Titans Return, Voyager Class, Merc, and Decepticon Octone. Now I've been looking for these a couple of months, and lo and behold, walked in Tarjay the other day and picked up him and Blitzwing. So I'm a lot more caught up on the Hasbro releases for this year so far. Alright, so taking a look at the packaging, we got an artistic depiction of Merc popping off of Octone's body there in the front. Transformers blowing up the right side of the package and the Transformers Generations logo in the top right hand corner. Over in the left hand corner, we got a picture showing the robot turning into a car, turning into an airplane. That's just signifying that this is a triple changer transformer. On the side of the package here, we got another artistic depiction of Merc popping off of Octone. A little bit more full body shot. Around to the back here, we got a picture of Octone in his toy mode, him in his jet mode, and him in his tanker mode right there. Says it's going to take about 22 steps to change him from robot to tanker to airplane back to robot. Merc himself is only going to take one step to change from the head of Octone into his character Merc. They're showing that right there. And over on the right side of the package here, we got a couple of product placement shots from Hasbro. Right here, they're showing Leader Class Sky Shadow. Did a review on my channel. Y'all check that out. Here, they're showing Blitzwing. I did that review yesterday. You guys also check that one out. Here, they're showing Deluxe Class Misfire. Still on the hunt for her. Haven't seen her, her or him in stores just yet and Roundhorn. I actually saw him the other day, thought I had it, skipped over it, so I might have missed out. Now here they're showing that these Titan Master figures are interchangeable with three different classes of Titans Return figures. You got your Deluxe Class, Voyager Class, and Leader Class, and these little guys are going to be swip swappable on any one of those three classes. So you can use it to kind of give your character a little more flair if you want to. Alright, now in the top left hand corner we got a real quick bio for Octone. His bio reads, Using the power of Titan Masters, the Decepticons rise to destroy the Autobot. When Decepticon Octone unites with Merc, the results are toxic. With Merc, Decepticon Octone gains the ability to produce corrosive clouds of toxic fumes, capable of wiping out any bot in pursuit. Alright, so since we took a look at the packaging, we're going to go ahead and open this up, take a look at the actual figure inside. All right, so out of package, got a couple of familiar things. First of all, we get these little art cards. Art card has some really nice artwork of Merc popping off of Octone there. The back of these cards, we have a stat breakdown like we used to have with the old G1 figures. Now the red lines are going to be Octone by themselves. The blue line is going to be combined with Merc. So strength is going to be a 6, combined is going to be a 10, speed is going to be 7, combined is going to be 9, intelligence is going to be 6, combined is going to be 7, firepower is going to be 4, combined is going to be 6. All right, usually just tuck these off to the side. They're also going to come packaged with dual-sided instructions, and those are right here. The back of those instructions. Taking a look at the actual figure, super happy with this. Uh, when I was a kid, I always wanted the original Octone, but I never was able to get it. None of my friends had it, so I wasn't able to swap with them in any kind of way. I really wish I had the, the first one to be able to compare it. These things are very similar. Uh, the original character's name was Octane. I don't know why Hasbro went with Octone this go around. Must have been something with the, with the name, someone having a copyright or something, who knows. But a uh, real nice figure. Pretty solid, not many many hollow points or anything on it here. He looks sick with those shoulder flares and the wings there. So, real happy with it. Alright, so taking a look at articulation real quick with this guy. Uh, first of all, you will want to move these wings out of the way if you're going to be rotating the arms around. You should get a full rotation on this shoulder joint right here. Whoop. These little shoulder flares will kind of hinder you, so you'll have to kind of turn it to the side there. But if you turn it to the side, you'll be able to get it all the way around. Now at his bicep section, there's another little swivel point right there. And of course, he's also going to have the elbow joint. Now these hands are kind of curved in. Uh, off top, I can tell I'm not going to be very fond of that. Usually when you have these curved hands, it kind of makes the guns look crazy when they're holding them. 
Uh, over at the other arm here, same scenario. As long as you turn this little shoulder flare thing around, you're going to be able to get a full rotation out of that arm. And then at the uh, bicep, again, is going to have a swivel joint. And that is also going to have an elbow there. Now, again, we got that pre molded hand that's kind of curved in on that side as well. All right, now down here at the legs, legs will get a full rotation. It's got a ratchet and a, like a ball joint there. So you'll be able to spin that all the way around at the waist. Uh, the character is not gonna have any waist swivel. And uh, after, that, after that hip joint there, there's a little thigh swivel. So you'll be able to rotate that around all the way. And there'll also be a knee joint right there. Now the foot's also going to have a little wiggle to it, mostly due to transformation, but you can use that to kind of help out with posability on them. Alright, over at the other leg, same scenario, you got that ball and ratchet joint right there. You'll be able to swing it around all the way, playing with it. And then down at the thigh here, another swivel point, you'll be able to rotate the leg all the way around. And then there's going to be a knee joint right there. And that foot right there is going to have the same play as the other side. So you can use that to help posing. So you can get some pretty cool poses out of him. He's a really stiff figure. He doesn't have many loose joints or anything. So you can do some crazy poses with him. All right. Now let's take a look at Merc. These little shoulder flare things here, just like on Optimus Prime, you can push them down if you want to. Taking a look at Merc here, we'll pop him off, bring him up a little bit closer. All right, so there is the mold for Merc. Real nicely done, no, no real shoddy paint on this one. All right, we're gonna flip it open real quick, take a look at uh, Merc as an individual Titan Master here. And that's what you get there, silver belly button, purple head, and gray body. We got a truck kind of vibe going on there on his chest. All right, now the uh, these little guys, you can move the arms out if you want to, just a hair here. But arms will kind of pull out a little bit if you wanted to. And they also go forward. The uh, hips have a pin pin through the hip and a pin through the knee joint so you'll be able to get some straightforward sitting poses like that you could bend the knee to get a proper sitting pose and you could also put the knees behind it if you want to have them crouching down on the ground or something all right i'm gonna tuck that off to the side here real quick we're gonna go through the transformation since we looked at articulation and everything with this guy to start off we're gonna push the hand into the forearm on both of these there's the front of the truck there. I'm going to do the same thing on that other arm. Just going to push the fist into the forearm here. And we're going to spin them around so that the gray is facing forward. Alright, so once we got those fists folded in, we're going to uh, pull these little wings up here. They kind of go, go together here. There's a little tab in the center. You can squeeze, get them all together. That should go up in the front of the truck mode there. And then these wings, they're also going to kind of stay to the back here. We're going to turn these arms like that. See these little shoulder things here are going to fold to the back. Yep, like that. You're going to do the same thing with that other side. Just going to fold it down there onto the top of the truck. All right, now we're going to take the arms, since we got them situated, you're going to take these whole little sections here, bring them up to the front. You're going to do the same thing on this other side. You're going to fold that whole piece up here. So what you got to do is this little tail fin, you got to get it perfectly in between the center of this truck. Then the truck should close and kind of click together there around that wing. All right, now this little shoulder, little chest panel here is going to fold forward up under the truck so that you're not obstructing the wheels or anything. All right, these little feet here, you're going to want to fold these out just to the side so you can flip the feet in, and then you're going to put them right back. All right, so you got to play with these little hinges here until you get your wings perfectly together there. 
Now these legs should click right around the wings here. There we go. And you just want to keep the wings up out of the way so they're not extremely visible like that. All right, so legs tied together, get all of that situated. And last, you're gonna take these little side panels here and flip them up to the front and it should tab right into the side of that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. You're gonna bring it forward and tab it into there. And then right here is also gonna tab all together and grab. So there you go. That's his tanker mode there. All right, now methods for weapon display on this. You've got a couple of holes right on the side back here. So you can take the cannon and put it on the side back right there. And this one, you've got either side mounts or front mounts. So you could have it side mounted on the side or you could have it facing this way on the side. Well, actually it won't because it'll grab that. So you could have it kind of side carting on that. And then if you wanted to, there's also a little hole right on the front of that weapon. So you could do the side cart with the cannon on it. Now the little weapon, you can take Merc, put him in a seating pose here, and he can actually slide into that little side cannon right there to ride along shooting the cannon if you wanted to. And also there's another little compartment here Use your fingernails to pull it out. You can take Merc and sit him inside of that so that he's uh, piloting the, so that he's piloting the truck there in the little cab. All right, bringing it a little closer to take a look. I think they did an excellent job with the truck mode here. That looks cool. Nothing real hollow. They did a good job of hiding the wings and everything. You can't really see them too bad in the truck mode. And there's the back of it there. So, pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna do this uh, jet mode real quick here. So uh, jet mode, we're just gonna open up these legs first of all, and you're gonna take these down here. You got the little fronts of the jet, fold them out and spin it around like that. Same thing on that other side, you're gonna fold it out, spin it around. These wings, of course, are going to come up and we're going to go ahead and connect the front of the jet back together, I believe. That shouldn't hinder the wings at all. These little leg things, are just going to rotate them to the back so the wheels ain't showing on the outside of the jet. And then these wings are going to fold down and you're going to have to kind of get them pivoted around properly. There we go. So you get the wings into place. There's actually some little recesses right here to show you where you're going to put the wings exactly. The wings don't click into anything, really. They just hang over the top, kind of. Then we're going to take these little truck things again, and they're just going to fold right to the side here. So you just get those little truck sections just to the side here, like that. And then let's get the tail of the airplane up here. You're gonna push this onto itself here, like that. And then you can fold these little wings down like that. Push these uh, shoulder flares in and fold the chest plate right up to the back of that there. So here's your jet mode for Octone. I think they did pretty good. Uh, these right, the little truck pieces on the back are kind of tacky to be hanging off, but I think they did all right at hiding it so you're not not aware that there's a truck inside the airplane. So that's pretty cool there. And that uh, canopy section again, I didn't even move him, but you got a little canopy section back here. That's the way you can have uh, Merc sit in the airplane mode there again. He'd be facing the back, but that's the way you could do it. All right, now methods of displaying weapons in this mode. Got a couple of little holes on the side right here of the jet and on that side. So you can take the cannon, stick it into the side there, and you can do the same thing you did with the other one. You could either side mount it like this, 
or you could use a little side post there and it could be like a little cart on the airplane. And again, still got the seat. So if you wanted to, you could have Merc riding beside the airplane like that. All right, now there's a couple of tabs on here. I forgot to mention it in the truck mode. I'm sure they were all over it too. Uh, you got tabs all on the front of the jet right here. And there's actually some wheels on the jet too, so it rolls nicely. So you can take your these little pegs all over the jet here. One right there, 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 there. And looks like that's all of them. But you can take these little pegs, and if you wanted to, you can stand Titan Masters on it like that. So. And all, you could also stand them back here if you wanted to on the jet. All right. So that's going to conclude my unboxing slash review for Transformers Titans Return Voyager Class Octone. If you guys liked the video, be sure to click the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment on my video. Let me know if I did good or not, or just chat with me, hell. But please, you guys, subscribe, like, comment, and do all that good stuff. Share with your friends, blah, blah, blah. And uh, that will conclude the unboxing. All right, so with all that said, again, I appreciate the view, guys. Casual 706, out.